let's find the stiffness of a concrete wall. So here's our concrete wall here. Um, it's 15 feet tall, 30 feet wide, and has a thickness of six inches. And we're gonna apply a load of 1,000 kips to this concrete wall. And we're gonna find the stiffness, and we're gonna find how much the wall deflects laterally under the 1,000 kip load. Okay, so here we have a table of the different formulas for deflection and stiffness. So this is a cantilever wall because it's only attached to the bottom and the top is free to move. So we have a cantilever wall. And here are the two equations that we could use. So first, let's find the deflection. So we have delta, which is the deflection, equals the force times the height cubed divided by three times the modulus of elasticity times the moment of inertia i plus 1.2 f, the force again, times the height divided by a, the area of the cross section, and g. Okay, so we know the force is 1,000, and we know the height is 15 feet, but we need to convert feet to inches. Um, so the height is 180 inches. It's going to be cubed, divided by 3. And we'll have to use a table to look up the modulus of elasticity. And for a concrete, that's going to be 3,500 KSI. And we need to find I. So how can we find I? Well, we could use the formula for the moment of inertia, which is I equals BD cubed divided by 12. That's for a uh, rectangular cross section. And that's gonna be six times 360 cubed divided by 12. And so that will give us 23 million 200, or 328,000 inches cubed. Okay, so that's gonna be, that's the first part of the equation here for delta. It's not an A, that's a delta. So we have 1.2 times 1,000. That's the force again. And the height, once again, is 180. Okay. And now we can find A. Uh, we have the width here. So, so the area is A, the width. And 6 is the thickness. So that will give us 2,160 inches squared, so that is the area here of the side of the wall, if we make it uh, 3D. Okay, so let's plug that number in, 2160, and now the last value is G, which is the shear modulus, and for concrete, that's 1500, that will usually be given to you in the problem statement. Okay, so if we calculate the first part, uh, we get 0 0.0238 inches plus 0 0.066 inches, which equals 0 0.09 inches. So if we apply a force of 1,000 kips to this concrete wall, this 6 inch concrete wall, it'll deflect this much, but we still need to find what the stiffness of the concrete wall is. And now that we found the deflection, it's actually really easy uh, because we know that stiffness equals the force divided by delta. So we know the force and we know delta. So 1,000 divided by 0 0.09 inches equals 11,000 kips per inch. So that's the stiffness of this concrete wall. Eleven thousand kips, and we just use the cantilever wall formula. So you'll need this table here, and we can do all different types: cantilever column, fixed column, fixed fixed wall, 
This table here is very important, especially for the uh, California seismic exam. So that's how you find the stiffness, the deflection of a cantilever concrete wall.